SCP-052 Time Traveling Train Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Although it's not possible to remove SCP-052 from the New York City subway system, its predictable behavior allows the Foundation to prevent the public from encountering it. The 59th Street ABCD station is to be closed to the public from 11pm to 1am on Saturdays and Sundays under the pretext of track maintenance. During that time, the station is to be staffed with agents from Mobile Task Force Gamma-6. Agents have been ordered to prevent accidental public access to the station and to capture anyone seen leaving SCP-052. Anyone who has been seen on SCP-052 must be transported to Site-21 for debriefing and processing. Members of the public who see SCP-052 may be released after the administration of a Class B amnestic. Description SCP-052 is a Type R4 New York City subway train. Official records indicate this train was built in 1932 and decommissioned for scrap in 1975. Nevertheless, it continues to appear on the Uptown AD track at the 59th Street and 8th Avenue station at 11.57 p.m. every Saturday. The train is in perfect condition and labeled as an A train. SCP-052 appears at the designated time, opens its doors to accept and discharge passengers for approximately 5 minutes, then closes its doors and disappears. It does not appear to ever contain passengers except for those leaving the train during its appearance. The majority of subjects that have boarded SCP-052 have not been recovered. Passengers leaving SCP-052 claim to have boarded on various dates from 1976 up to 2204. The latter claims he thought SCP-052 was a 300th anniversary special train. Subjects retain no knowledge of time on board. Addendum. Passengers leaving SCP-052 must be brought to Site-21 and interrogated to determine their origin and possible threat to the current time stream. Generally, passengers from the past may be given Class A amnestics and reintegrated into society. Passengers from the future must be held indefinitely. See Order 69A1 from 059. Site-21 currently holds 26 recovered passengers. Despite our protocols to prevent public access, we are still receiving subjects from the future. Although some are from alternate timelines, it is possible SCP-052 will begin to appear at another time or place requiring expanded containment. The Foundation has placed several subjects onto the train in an attempt to understand its activities when not visible. Test 052-1 May 31st, 2009 Agent <coughs> placed on train not recovered as of present date. Test 052-2, June 6, 2009. Agent <coughs> enters the train, not recovered as he apparently returned to 1980 and was killed in a confrontation with Redacted. Test 052-3, see notes on recovered passenger 0524. After test 0523, O5 Command issued orders that no further agents should be risked as passengers on SCP-052. Consideration has been given to using Class D personnel in their place, but the risk of releasing them into the past is too great. Log of recovered passengers in Foundation custody. Passenger O5-2-1. Entered train on July 14, 2012. Recovered March 8, 2008. Notes. An accountant on the way home from the theater when she entered the train, 0521 has expressed surprise and dismay to have traveled back in time four years, but appears to be otherwise unchanged and unharmed. She has been determined to currently exist in this timeline and must be held indefinitely to prevent unwanted temporal effects. Passenger 0522 Entered the train June 12, 1976. Recovered March 15, 2008. Notes. Subject entered the train when lost on the way to Studio 54. Although unharmed and not a temporal threat, 0522 is being held as the examining psychiatrist believes 32 years is too long a period over which to facilitate successful reintegration. Passenger 0523. Entered train December 6, 2014. Recovered June 20, 2009. Notes. 
A tourist from Jacksonville, Florida, subject 0523, now speaks Albanian instead of English, held due to 05 orders re subjects from the future as well as possible reintegration difficulties. Passenger 0524, entered train June 13th, 2009, recovered June 27th, 2009. Notes, agent <laughs> from test 0523. Agent returned with his hands surgically removed and a note in his pocket with the message, send no more. Subject does not remember his experience on the train, but when subjected to hypnosis, revealed data expunged. Passenger 0525, Agent <laughs> entered train at unknown future date in violation of protocol. On July 11, 2009, body of subject was violently thrown from the train, landing 10 meters away. On examination, subject was found to have been data expunged. Whether security should be increased to prevent subjects from entering SCP-052 is under consideration. Passenger 0526 <laughs> claims to be a level 4 supervisor from the SCP Federation who entered the train in December 2124. Subject had been administered a Class A prime amnestic prior to boarding in a successful attempt to avoid the fate of passenger 0524 and 0525. Recovered February 6, 2010. As he will never be released from Foundation custody, 05 Command has approved sharing otherwise classified information about other artifacts in our possession in hopes of gaining new methods of containment and becoming aware of future security breaches. Agent has been cooperative and claims that it's good we do not know how to open SCP-699. Subject turned visibly pale and refused to discuss this item further. To be a survivor of the Great Zombie Plague of 2092 caused by an SCP-008 containment breach. That SCP can be killed by a data expunge with a data expunge and SCPs. Permission to try this has been denied by O5 and that he worked for Dr. Jack Bright.